I mean, that's great. New form. That's great. New form. We're back. What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We got mics this week. You said you liked the mics in the doubles battle. The, the one we'll thing, still, we'll still big. ironing it out. Yeah, those about big. seven people saw the video, but the people that did, yeah. they kind of <laughs> the liked it. The seven people that watched the doubles battle from last week did enjoy the mics. It was electric, though, so go back and yeah, check it yeah, out. Yeah, watch it. Go watch it. We take on Nico and Emerson. Uh, We're here in Houston, Texas this week for the Innova Open at Texas State Disc Golf Championships. That's a mouthful. Presented by Innova Disc Golf. Wow. Make sure to tune in this week on the Disc Golf Amen. Network and YouTube channel on Friday for free. It's going to be fun. New course, back-to-back yeah. new courses on tour. I like that. Back-to-back -back new it's, locations. It's too bad. I mean, like, obviously last week's qual sucked. You know, we, we both hated it. It was good. Everyone liked the qual. We hated it. I can't wait to just wait to just, I'm going to dig into them on tour life this week. It's just, last, I cannot wait. Over also was sick. Great qual. We got to talk about your performance. Okay. Pretty good performance. Second top 10 of the season. Yes. He did say he should have won. So I don't know if you want to go you know, into that a little bit. That was, you know, I missed a 14 foot putt. That kind of. So you lost by one? I lost by five. Okay. All right. There were some strokes out there. I don't know. I'm sure Gannon could have shot 10 strokes battle too. So but that was it's a great, all to say. Yeah, that was a so. great finish by you. Kevin, me, Kevin, anything to say? It was tough. It was, it tough. was tough. Kevin said it, it was, was tough. tough. I missed cash by one shot thanks to Andrew Presnell birdieing hole 18. But did you also body 18? I had so you did what you had to. So you, you did as much as you could, to and be then Fresno clutched up. To be fair, after missing a 25 footer for birdie on 14, yeah, throwing it straight out of bounds, yeah. and then making bogey there, yeah, I knew I was like I have to birdie 15, 16, 17, 18 to cash. I birdied 15, nice step putt, birdied 16, nice 17. I missed that hole's a forehand. I know, but I had like a nasty like 50 foot forehand that hit the top of the cage. Nobody's making that, but. I buried 18, so it made my it made me feel a little bit better. Regardless, we're here. New course. Name of the co course is Brat. No, it's definitely Brock. not Brock. Brock Polk. Here's Brock, what I thought. Brock, I looked Gold. at the I, I took a sneak peek at the caddy book. Lots of OB. Yep. I'm excited Lots for it. Gotta stay in bounds. Weather could be dicey. They have flags. That's one thing I will say too. Just looking at it, they have flags. It's so easier can, to see. We know where the line is, That's yep. it, which is nice. Hole one is a par four, 717 feet. Ooh, it's a big boy. You've got the Mando out there on the left, forcing you to have to go up the right hand side of the fairway. I believe the Mando I shot at like 430 feet, as where you can shoot it. Just to double check, because I did that like five minutes ago. I think you're gonna yep. see multiple plays here. I like this off the first tee. One, because I love par fours. We've talked about this before. I love par fours to start your round. Hole 63 out here. Par 63, some, some it's a little bit long too, which is nice. You've got a gap down the right hand side. I don't know how many people are gonna hit that, Right. but it's there. I think the intended line is there's definitely like straight up the middle. I think you're right gonna the, see right the, uh, Heiser flip backhand. Yep. I think you're gonna Tight see flex. some people that have big forehands, just blast the forehand to get themselves into the fairway. Just get, okay. And just then you right also Mando. could see some people get a little more aggressive with like, a tight flex. Cut low That just kind of goes all the way to the basket. I like that play too. A roll or two would be absolutely disgusting on the first hole, but we're gonna throw a couple shots and uh, see how it plays. I feel like we're 10 minutes in and we're still just at the intro. That's a crazy. That's this what people be, love. This is gonna be love. a 15 minute long video. Well, we have, when you get a top 10, you have to talk about it. Get used to it. Do you know how many people would be like, oh wow, you got a top 10 and you didn't get anything, so you're not gonna talk I about it? I don't think anyone would kill No, man. people. Nobody, dude, it doesn't matter. People would say, People would talk. I've heard if them. If you don't win, does it, if, if you don't win, it, nobody kills. And then also, if you do win, after the next tournament happens, and you don't also win, nobody no one kills. cares. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's what have you done for me? It's, it's recency bias. It's just, I mean, it's that's how it should nature. be. Though. That's how it should be. Yeah, All right. Fine. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do the nuke play, forehand nuke play Ooh. down the left. I got it. And I'm just kind of curious to see see what happens. If I can get it, if I can get it like 380 out there. I feel like it's really short though. Like, you putting your tape on? Yeah, I feel like we. I feel like backhand is gonna be. Yeah, that seems. I feel like we. I feel like we want this. This whole 740 feet. If we can't get, we need at least 400 feet off the tee. Yeah, I think just to have. And a, the wind is not in a favorable position for a forehand. I just want to see what's the option there. Like if it is birdieable from there. Hmm. They did put that tree in a very good spot. I will be the first to say. Shout out to Kevin, man, Kevin, for the tape. Thank you, Saul. Well play, love that. I'm trying a new run up to maybe get my hips involved a little bit more. 
It feels a little those more hips expl- looked quick. <laughs> those hips looked quick. It feel it feels a little more explosive. I could be it's completely facetious. That's facetious. Facetious. Yeah. <clears throat> I want to see how fast that OB comes into play. Eh. Oh. Got the tree. I, I mean, I feel a lot that more. Feels, Jack, yeah, that feels. Do you feel like the explosion the there? I think that's it. I think that, I think that little like baby okay. tight flex. Real quick, just for the viewers at home. One thing I was watching. You no. can throw in the back. It's not for me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can throw in the background. No, you you have, so that's you not have for perfect me. form. Yeah, it's not. You have <laughs> perfect form. He's gonna I film your shot while I'm talking. Okay. So one thing when I was watching myself oh, throw. That's perfect form. Which that's that's trash. Which is something that I think everyone should be doing often is filming themselves and then looking at it. One thing I was noticing is compared to Ezra, I was getting into my turn state really fast. So what I was doing is I was taking my, my first step was right back here, then I'd go left, then I'd go right, and I'd already be like turned. And so like the- Turn forward? No, turn, turn back. back. I'd already oh, be turned right. back really soon. Yep. Like in this spot A before my X step. Yeah. And so then like it was really, it was really hard in this state when you're turned like this to keep your weight over here. So what I'm trying to do now is instead of my first step being out to the right, keeping my footwork the same, I'm still gonna go one, two, one, two, but now I'm gonna take a step forward, step forward, and now when I get to this spot, now I can turn with my X step versus already being turned and like, then trying to X step. That's actually like a super con. A lot of people will do, like you'll see a lot of people do a, a run up where they'll basically like, you know, they'll be like the last like four steps I'll just like butt Turn the target. whole way. Yeah. Yeah. When I was, I, like I had the same problem like starting out, so I would have to think of like, like my mental note would be trying to keep my hips like straight forward the whole time. So I was almost trying to like think of running up like straight forward and then it, and you, then, you know. And then engage. Obviously you can't, you can't do that. So then it'd be like, you know, you can keep angle. everything in line until the very, until the X step and then. And then that's where you that, Yeah, that's where yeah. you're So it's, it's like. Like a snap. Ultimate did not create great form for disc golf. No, because again, ultimate, if I was gonna throw far, my ultimate throw was this. You're here, and then you go this way. So like that big step got your hips and everything turned while you went, and then you threw. Learning to like step forward with your last step. Also, the other thing with ultimate is I always taught you want your knee to be in the position of where you're throwing. So oh, if wow. I was to step forward, I want my foot to be in line with where I'm going because when Ezra's marking me, this is for all those ultimate nerds out there. So if Ezra's marking me, so he's like trying to stop me, if I were to step forward here, but I did a disc golf step to where I'm like this, now I'm ripping into him, right? I'm not Beautiful. able to get away versus if I did an ultimate step like this, now I can bend out here, and now I'm throwing out. Oh, he's. Um, I still swatted him, so it's but like. But you want it. You basically want to make it to where wherever you step, that's the where you want. So then that way you can bend away. Yeah, it's crazy. From that, the mark. That's like the opposite of disc golf. Complete opposite. Because in disc golf, you want to get it you almost like close. Close, so that you can like get that leg like braced and straight. And then you'll never. But you can't. Like, <laughs> if you do that, go real quick. Now try to throw out here to where I am. Like bend your knee out here. Like I'm it's, fall, it's, it's, it it's very awkward. So it's know. completely different, but that's a great question. That was for all the nerds. Everyone else didn't want to, you could have found Everyone else has clicked off the video and unsubscribed. So that's, <laughs> that sucks. All this right, so forehand. this was my drive that ended up clipping this tree and dropping. I think well, my forehand ended up a little bit over on the right. Now that we're up here, this is definitely something where like, yeah, for sure this is still doable birdie, but you want to, you actually do want to get distance here. I don't think this OB, the, the OB is, this, the fairway is very tight. I but will like say that. But like forehand, you don't want to be on the right hand side. Like this shot over here, anything over you here. If you're on the left hand side, because then the mando is like impossible to hit. But like this is like, th that's a nightmare looking shot. I mean, I, I guess might, you I could, might try Onyx tomorrow. I mean, I guess you could go like, oh, no, that's way too I'm high. Just, I'm looking at my, like my, uh, my Venom. My Venom's in line with the uh, Mando. Yeah. I think I need to be less aggressive. I think I need to throw an Onyx and just 
go straight. I think, pattern, so I think this is straight. where you want to be. I think this is very doable. 321 is just a straight passion. I like this doing a little faster because of the ceiling, because it's, I don't want it to, I, the ceiling's gonna cause the disc to drop quick. So I kind of need to get a little bit more speed out of this. I mean, that's great. New form. That's great. New form. So that's another thing too. If we get a tee shot here, then we gotta mess with these trees. Whereas if you play more aggressive, get up to all that blue nuke as I floaty through, those trees are so much Don't easier you to get love to though get playing by. the first hole and not feeling like you have to birdie it? <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'd be, I'd be somewhat happy with a pole like in this hole. Fade. Oh. Oh, the OB actually widens quite a bit up there. Great. This is where my venom ended up. I mean, that's great. Don't hit that. Wow, the low ceiling is difficult. I mean, would you go forehand here or would you go step out backhand? Nice. All right. Kind of a well-designed hole. It's a tough place. <laughs> I mean, no, man, hole one sucks, dude. I want easy th pull threes, man. I don't know if it is a real argument, but I'll just say my argument. I want to see, and, and maybe it's because we don't have the land, but I would love to see higher pars. Not necessarily like longer courses, but just higher pars. And if you're a good player out there, if you're really good at disc golf, I think you also want to see higher pars as well, because that means you have more shots to prove that you're better than everyone else. I agree. That That's my take on it. Like, if you play a course where you only are throwing like 20, 22 shots and the rest are putts, there's just not gonna be that much scoring separation versus if you're playing a course that has multiple par fours, multiple par fives, now all of a sudden, your full shots go from like 22 to now like 30 plus, 35 full shots. I mean, that just seems more fascinating to me. Oh my God, grip lock. All right, hole one in the books. I like it. I like it a lot. It's good. We're having a, a couple mic issues. This is a this is a new set up, and I'm not an audio guy, so we're, we're still trying to figure it out. The mic, I think it's the qual that I have is trash, so I think it might be picking up from the actual mic. So if you hear a lot of outside noise, I think that's the issue. I think by hole seven, I can get a new quad, and hopefully by then, we can get it fixed and have it sound good. Because I think, I think Brody sounds great, and I sound bad. I always sound good, man. I always sound bad, but I think I sound worse because of the mic, so. We'll figure it out. All Be right. all with us. Hole number two, we have a par three, 363. You got a low ceiling off the tee. Wow, it's OB. You got OB, Everywhere. or a hazard, rather, that's, that plays as OB. Or no, it plays as a hazard. Oh, the, the um, white, the white flag. The white one circled plays as a hazard. Okay. There's another sand trap up there on the left that I think is a grass bunker. You can't. Okay. And then you got OB circling. This is an island, so I guess if you somehow clip the tree, no, I mean, that's in bounds too. There's OB down in the creek, so you'd have to have a really bad, unfortunate like situation to happen. But What's I think this? you're gonna see What's... mostly people see throw forehands. That's what, that's what it looks like right I, off the, the bat. The backhand does not seem like. The backhand seems tough just because you have to, the height is not, yeah. it's not great. I think it's uh, kind of right in between like a Raptor and. What was the distance? 363. I don't this, think man. a Raptor's enough. How about just the disc? I'm gonna go Venom. Looks like sand. Oh, troll. Holy smoke. Maybe just a nuke. Does it play a little uphill? Yeah, this low ceiling I mean, the, is actually so low. The wind so is low. right to left, which is going to kill it. It's this wind. The wind is definitely not going to help it climb. We'll get a good idea. That was a much higher higher throw. Yeah. Well, wow. small. No, I, I think it does play a little uphill. And, and the low ceiling. It's tough. You can't get the height you want. It's tough to get the height. It almost good. feels like maybe a flex shot is probably to kind of have it lift the at the end. The right side of the gap is a little bit high on maybe two. Oh, that's not the disc to throw a flex with. It's gonna come back a little bit, but not enough. Not a better distance at least. Ooh. Would that have been it if it didn't clip it? I think it's still it. Yeah, that's it. New disc to my bag. What is it? A little Zeus action. It's a new old disc that I used to have in my bag and put it back in. That was that was the right one right there. 
So do I just not need to not breathe, Kevin? Is that going to help? Yeah, okay. just hold your breath the whole time. <sighs> How's that sound, Kevin? There. That's really good. Oh, that's a great shot. Skip up in there. Or is that you know something I was having trouble with the last round, the last tournament? I, I was having a hard time throwing my domi nukes. I, I, Sounds I, like a small hands It problem. was maybe a small hands. <laughs> that, that was, was so good. much better. Yeah, that's fine. That was really good. I'm that's bad. the best shot. I got big hands. Right. Feels good. Feels You're good bad. to have big hands. You grew your hands. Dude, this tape, I, it's not coming out. Yeah, it's okay. Good win practice. I need this. Ooh, get lifted. I think that's what I gotta do by using it higher. I think I might have to be turning into a nose down putter. Or more closer to a nose down putter. I thought putter. you wore a nose down putter. What? I thought you wore a nose down. I feel like I was and then I changed it. All right, hole three. Wow. Another, this is, look, this is a beautiful hole. A back-to-back -back low nice. ceiling shots. We got a par four, Ooh. 870 feet. There is OB, uh, you know, looking at this, this looks really nice because there is an OB spot short of the green. You, you can't just pitch, pitch, pitch. I mean, you could, but you're, you can't get super close. Right. There is that gap there, which I like. I'm a little bit of a score separator and you can see the basket way out there. That looks like the slopiest slope green I've ever seen in my entire life. That looks very extreme. That looks, you definitely want to try to have a close putt. Right. To the water, it's got to be like 700 oh, okay, feet. Okay, yeah. I don't think we can get there. So we just so, rip a drive as far as you can. I think you rip a drive as far as you can. Oh, 870, so, so like a big this. rip, a big rip gets you like under four. That's... I did not flip up at all. No. And the wind's flip taking the wind. it. So it was, is, there OB, is there OB left or is that just I don't know. Natural? I think th there's got to be probably be OB super far left maybe. <laughs> so I'm okay. Definitely would have liked more flip. How about that much flip? Oh, wait. That's the scary yep. thing. Oh, it's fine. That's so scary because you're OB the whole way. I'm inbound by two feet. I know. Cut the flip. I think you know what, Ez? What? That's so scary. I think I'm gonna try like one like low flexor. You don't, I don't like hit it. it? No, I don't hit it. Oh, why would I have thought on Heiser? Are so you annoying. trying to do a low flexor? Not not necessarily a flexor, but just like a little flat off. <laughs> and then you throw it on Heiser and it just goes oh it goes into the nothing. Like I kinda like that, because at least if that goes OB, at, if it at goes OB, I'm at least up there. Like right. throwing this shot and the wind, like if the wind changed or something, you get a bad drop. Could be dicey. Could be dicey. I mean, this hole would be fascinating into like a strong headwind. Oh boy, I'm gonna try to throw. I'm full 75. <laughs> well, you're way up there. I, this is this is way too low to get any actual distance. I mean, I'm I'm gonna still be like 400 feet away. This is with tailwind too. But it's it's two good shots. I like it. This gr this green up here is. I'm staring at it, Ezra. This thing is terrifying. I mean, this could, if that, that's the play though, you gotta turn it into the hill. Cause if it starts flexing. Not OB though, that's not the play. Was that OB? Dang, yeah. Really? Wow, all right, that's still the nuke. Hopefully OB opens well. up quite a bit. No, oh, I didn't, oh, I did. If it flexes out though, Ezra, you're dead. Watch this thing, you're dead. No, it's fine. You're dead. No, it's fine. I don't, well, I mean, you do want to uphill putt. It's you do want uphill putt. Yeah. I mean, throwing a hyzer, a big hyzer into this green seems absolutely terrifying. So I think if you can get out to like in this area, this is probably pretty ideal. As was shot on the far right, he had to contend with like more of a side slope where I'm contending with more just the upslope. So I can theoretically like throw a shot more directly at the basket and it's not gonna, you know, fade as far. 420 from here. My green one is probably 380. So you gotta throw a pretty good shot to get within set of 400. This has gotta be a straight missile, ideally coming in like 20, oh God, so much wind, right to left. Oh, it's lifting somehow. Drop. Oh boy. It'll be fine. Yeah, oh, it's swell schwalt. Did you see that lift? Yeah, it's like beyond any the whole time. Yeah. As soon as it gets high, it's just, it's just dead left. That was close. That was good. Stay out. Nice. Yeah, that was I mean, really now it's just the scariest part of my life. But. Yeah. 
That's so low. Yeah. It's possible though, it's, it's definitely doable. Oh, slippy. That might be, if you can get a drive that far though, it probably is a forehand into that, into that green. <laughs> Let's see what that does. Yeah, I nice. like, I mean, if you can get far enough, forehand is way less scary than backhand. Longest 50 foot putt ever. It gets to the basket with zero speed. All right, now if I can just do that in tournament play, we're good. Don't mind me, I'm just walking up a mountain. Oh, I have another disc down there, can you get that? Ah, it's okay, dude, we can leave it. You're gonna see some nasty rolls on this one. You either wanna be close or like- Far enough away 80 feet away. away. Like, I'm, I'm just laying up. If you're 40 feet away and you lay up, I, you should, I hope you get booed. I would love to get booed, if, if that's what it is. I got booed. Did you? Yeah. Good. Did, you, did you dissolve one, it? On hole one was my, so I got introduced on hole one and someone booed. Get rex. Which, you know, it's fine. Sounds like a small hand. Hole number five. We've only played three yeah, holes? Yeah, we've only played three holes. Holy cow. Hole number four yeah. is a par three, 405 feet. Okay. Blind shot. Looks like a high shot. all down the right, woods down the left. It looks like, too, if you do hit these trees, these trees are OB. The short ones? Oh, the, the ones on the right. Oh, okay. So if you hit those trees and drop straight down, you will end up being OB. So I think you'd actually just want to almost, I think it's almost like just like an overstable fairway. So you just kind of have a drift. I'm going, I'm going to get sneaky vulture here. That looks, that, that's pretty good. I like that from what I see. Do you like it? Uh, I think I need a little bit more distance. No, you got a huge skip. Uh, could be 20 feet or 30 feet, hard to say. Short. But it might be 20 feet, but you also got a very good skip forward. So maybe it's just like a normal rattle. Like so a like if you, would have, if you would have not gotten a skip, I don't think that would have been that great. I feel like you can count on the skip though. I hate that. Well, wait. I think you're gonna like that more, that might be it. I think it's too tight. Can't talk to me, too far left. Mm. I, I like that disc choice though. I think that was the right disc choice. There you go, fade. Yeah, that's a, kind of a straight raptor now. Ooh, see, that got through the trees though. That's so far. So what if I do like this flat? Inside, do Ooh, it. I hate that. That gets to those trees too quick. Cliff off to the left, so don't go left on this tee shot. <laughs> yeah, this is. Uh, also, look at this. What if what if you went like spike high, high over top of the trees, and then like just long. crashed like a little bit long? I mean, I that might, might. I might try. I might want to well, try that. It's also scary though, because then you hit the trees and. It's a good. Well, it depends on how they make this. If, if they if they make this OB, which I think they might, and they put a drop zone, and all OB is then it's the same. You know, it's so like staying too far right OB is the same as like going right here. So then maybe that would be a battle play. Cause like, well, or mid -range, or maybe mid, like tight flip up mid range up the middle. I mean, now you're here, this is a very stretch. scary shot. It's so scary, yeah. yeah. Oh, my party. It's one of those holes that's actually easier the first time you play it. Good. Cause you don't know. Right. Now that we know, it's a very scary hole. Yeah. Awesome course though, so far. Hole five, the green on this hole is just a straight cliff down. Speed control, very important. Height control. Height control is very important. Spin control. Spin control. Roll control. Angle control. Yeah. Calorie, Chaos. Calorie intake control. You're gonna need it all. How's that going, man? How's the weight, how's the diet stuff? It's good, I'm at 218. 218, let's go, baby. R3, 351. You've got a forehand gap down the left and a backhand gap down the right. We're gonna try both but I think I'm gonna like the backhand more. What are you thinking? What about backhand down the left? Forehand off the right. I hate both You hate of those. forehand roll on, just I to hate, kind of like I fight hate, up the hill at the I end. I hate both of those. I'm doing it here. Now, I think he did say that this section is the last section that hasn't been cut. So this Mo. is one of those things okay. of where this shot right. might be completely different tomorrow. Skip if all this grass is cut. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go nuke OS, and I'm gonna try to throw it into that tall grass. 
and have it just absolutely kill it. Well, well, there's a tree there. It's not exactly, I mean, sometimes. Ezra, there's, Ezra, there's a tree there. That's why you're getting Sean's Plus, because things happen. Show that's one of, my Walsh, that's one of my Walsh jokes of all. Show, I didn't hear what you said. Thank I, goodness. I will. Oh, I wanted you to hit it so bad. Why would I hit that? What do you mean, why wouldn't you? Oh, I'm not gosh. trash, kid. 350 is too far for you, brother. It's the capture trap, bro. Yeah, you got to disc up, brother. I don't want to go long. I'm okay with that. I can lay that up and get a paw easy. I think the mowed grass is going to have a massive effect on this hole. Yeah, like that could be awesome. So let's go up the left side backhand. This is the pure play. No one wanted to do This that. is the pure play. No one wanted to you do You think that. James Conner has a second up this hole and automatically just He's going, going to the right. He's going to the right. I'm throwing a forehand up the left. He does, he's not doing that exact shot? No. That's 100 feet short. I'm sorry, James. That is so much smaller. I don't hate it. Don't I love it. Don't let's love go see it. what the green looks like. All right, Ezra, what are you thinking here? Send it. Because I think I know. What you, I think I know what you should be thinking. I felt I felt so cool for about two seconds when I thought that was gonna go in. I was gonna say. And I now think, I feel like a complete dunce. I think you're actually thinking. I wish I had a scuba. I do have a scuba. Okay. This is a perfect hole to do it on. No, you gotta try to make it. What? Yes. This is this is exactly when people ask why do you do a scuba. It's on a hole like this. Because you give it a chance to go in. It's a little bit Because I like, do a normal weak. putt. Do a normal putt. Well, you don't have any putters left. You got to go higher. I know, but I, it's fine, though. You got to go height. Yeah, that just the chance of making that is so low, though. Because it's coming in so vertical. Yeah, if you're trash. You didn't make either of those. What's that make you? I. Oh, oh, I wanted that to go inside. So that would have been sweet. I got one more puddle. One more chance. All right, yeah, go for a normal. No, no, go for a normal putt. I, just because, like, actually try to make it. Just so I just shot. I already did. No, but you hit the basket. So you want me to airball it? No, no, no. I want you to try to make it, but I have faith that you're going to airball it. Because I, you know, I want to show the audience what. You know, if you stand on a, on a lake with ice on it and you think that the ice is strong enough to support you, but it's actually only like a centimeter thick, you fall through. Oh my uh, okay. gosh, I set it up too and so I still failed. see how far away that is. So it, it really gets steep past the basket. I think this is manageable. I think you want to land your, your you want to land and you want to end up like 25 feet short. And then it should kind of trickle down. But it's so hard to get here with the, with the seal. That'll be mold though. Oh, yeah. I think you actually do need to skip it and then land it here. I, it's, it's just sketch because you don't want to go past the basket at all. If you go five feet past the basket, it gets so you steep. Get just, there's a good chance you're gone. Heck yeah. We figured it out. All right, here's the problem, guys. <laughs> here's the problem. I had a couple backup mics in the bag just in case we had no, issues. Here's the issue. Just, no, I'm stupid. We're not That's audio issue. people. We're not audio people. Talking to the mic. We're not. What the heck is that? <laughs> what, we, see, look. We have no idea what we're doing. We're doing. We throw frisbees. Why are, we, why are we trying to do this? Well, here's the thing. Well, Kevin, 80, well, Kevin, 80 feet away from Kevin. No, 400 meters. So like all that, all that mean he's, stuff that we say to him. He's a quarter his, mile. He's all, all, whenever than we, you talk can behind, run. we talk behind his back and we'll fall. We're like, no, he can hear. He's got headphones. He can hear everything. Yeah, he can hear everything. That is the awkward thing when you do stuff with like an audio person because it's like they. Oh, you get canceled. You get canceled so quick. I've gotten canceled five times. All right, hole six, par four, 600 feet. Love you, Kevin. Big dog leg, left to right. Yes, we're using the term dog leg again. Left to right. I'm thinking. Roller? How far is it? 600. I'm not, I don't I'm, listen. I'm thinking, what? I don't listen. I'm thinking roller. I'm thinking turnover. I'm thinking not, Cinnamon a, toast not a forehand. Roller or turnover? Mm. I'm going to go power nuke first, turnover. This wind is trash. Actually, it's You're actually, that's good. You're trash. No, the mic's walk now, so I'm not trash. It isn't. God! Tom? Oh, it did. Here's the thing. I mean, the people back home watching this are gonna love that shot. Is that sweet or no? Ooh. Oh, it needs way more turn. Okay. This might be too stable then. Yeah, don't, that's don't throw that. I'm going to. <laughs> that's way OB left. Yeah, I just, it was that's the wrong. way OB left. Mine hit the Is tree. Is that on one? My, Kev? Mine hit the tree 200 feet to the right and was OB. All right, so I think we gotta actually hug this corner more maybe. I don't think that's very oh, far. Oh, I mean. Yeah, I don't think it's very far, but it's inbound. I don't have that big of a run up, but uh, this is a very small tee box. How many Brodies is it? How many Brodies? Inchworm? Not even two. 
Is it more than two Brodies? Not even two. Can't it's 1.9 Brodies. Can't put too many Brodies on here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's scary. They need to have a net back there. There we go. There's the turn. Step, 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 step. step. I think that's good. That's fine. Right, I'm going to try one roller. I like the roller play, but I feel like the grass is long. That actually might be really good. I don't mind the grass being long, it's so uphill. That might be good with the left to right wind. If it gets pushed, yeah. yeah. All right, interesting shot. Definitely one that we probably should have ran up here to kind of get an idea of where we're trying to go. Definitely we'll know for unique, tomorrow. Definitely a unique shot. This wasn't like the greatest shot ever. Kind of didn't really have the distance. 320 in, downhill. I think OB is probably, with just how the course has been playing, I'm assuming OB is probably all around the basket. So I'm gonna go with this little get freaky zone here. Oh, nice. Oh. Did I hit the basket or the tree? Tree. I think I wanna to get to that corner. It's probably more of like a tunnel of passion. That's what I threw. Oh. Yeah. Stable. How crazy is that green down there? I don't know. How about now? Ah! Cut it out. Cool little green tucked back in here. Jeez, this is it tight too. It does look like the OB. Does it continue around? Or is it just, no, it doesn't look like there's any OB behind. Okay, so just as long as you're short or long, you're fine. Don't want to be left or right. That sounded very uh, convincing. Thank you. Wow, yeah, I don't know what the, how, the OB line kind of just stops. I wonder What's if they're going to finish this line. It just stops. It just stops? So I wonder if they'll think it's inbounds or out of bounds and they haven't finished the line yet. I'm not sure. Oh, because this one stops too, huh? Maybe we draw a straight line from that line to that line. It's so like, like this is OB right here. It's a foot behind. Uh, no, it goes into infinity. Oh, well. So it just goes, it's there, and it goes to infinity back. Interesting. I mean, forehand off the tee might not even be a terrible Yeah, ball. I don't hate that either. We've it's got fun. a cool little wooded hole cut out. Hole seven, 294. Ooh. With, gosh, it looks to me like it's a, a backhand flex line. It's a backhand, yeah, backhand tunnel shot. I've got a zone just for the job. I, I am gonna try to throw like a. Uh, forehand will work too, I, I feel like, but it's gonna end up short. I'm short gonna right. try one just to kind of see. Low ceiling. Oh, why so low? Why so soft? Oh, great. Why yeah. so perfect? I don't know. See, if it's I can get this game. left side gap right here and just fade it off that one tree. Fade it off that one tree? Yes. Okay. Oh, wow. I, I mean, that was good. Is that all it is? I mean, that seems, for us, that well, seems not be way easier than what you're than about this? to do. You think so? I mean, I, I mean, you're 0 for 2 so far, so I mean. Keep, I'm 2 for 2. Keep going, I guess. I'm putting twice. I'm going to try this roacher. Oh, God! Throw the forehand. Whoa, wow. Finger, your finger blew out? No. The only thing I'm blaming is a bad throw. I'm not blaming anything. So, I'm not a blamer. You should know that. You blame yourself? I blame myself. Blame him. Off that. Well, I mean, you gotta be a little bigger. Than I need that. to throw faster than that. <laughs> yeah. The definitely, definitely fits the gap. The Ohio State. Yeah. It's a big I, zone. It's a big zone. So you did. I mean, <sighs> not really. It's not really a big that zone. It is. It's not that big of a zone. It's a pretty big zone. I like the backhand more. Yeah, but. you can do both. Either will walk. I think it's whatever you're, I mean, the last hole, I basically threw the same exact shot. So it's sometimes nice to kind of get in a rhythm Gosh, like that. Brother. No, what, what is this? Honestly, it's been a while. What is this? It's been a while since we've, we've played a par five, four days, three days since we posted this. Wow. It's been a while since we played a par five over 1,160 feet. Dang. This is hole eight. 1,161 feet. Wow. Dead that's a, that's straight a threshold hole, to beat. It's just a dead straight hole. Okay. I like that there's a hill here. 
I think that's gonna pretty much take away the roller. Yeah. I don't think many people are gonna want to throw. And then also the fact that there's OB left and OB right. Also take away the roller. <laughs> no, you can launch it, dude. I, don't I care. was trying to, but then I started laughing. I think that's good. I don't know where the OB is, but. That's fine. I think the OB is farther left than that tree. I hope so. Wow. Oh, that's OB. I'm past. Is it? I have no idea. I think it's safe. TI Nuke? Yeah. Cal, I'm jealous of that bad boy. Back in the bag. Wouldn't that be nice to have? I'm on a pitch count. I'm happy with I'm my shot. I'm on a pitch count. All right. Yeah, I mean, send it. what else are we going to do? It's I mean, nothing. I guess you could try the roller, but I don't like it. No. Nope. Way back there. Whew. All right, I'm throwing. OB is really far right, so I think you want to do a big turn over here. That's what I'm going to try. No, the OB is so far right. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, yeah that's that. so good. That's actually great. Fantastic execution. All right, this is my weakness. Hold it. Oh, I'm in the way. I can't. Um, Yikes. The selection? the nose down. That's what I'm saying. I think it's the nose, but how do I get it more down? Till your wrist. So it is just simply that? Well, till your wrist and like... Make sure, uh, you're, are make you sure you're ripping over that uh, over. Yeah, with your, like your whole like your whole body's got to do the throw. This. Yeah. Then again, should I really be the one teaching you how to do an ante? No, probably not. Okay. So but like that was. Between those two? But I would also say like on that, like you saw it all. Like your, like the full step of your lineup was like a Heisel shot. So like have the whole throw be like it's gonna be an ante, you know, instead of like. So yeah. I already have it here. Yeah, so I'll already be standing up straight. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That looked way better. Those, I mean, that held. Let me try one more. Well, I'm getting better, folks. This is the shot I struggle with most. Yeah, there's no money in that, though. Oh, that came out like a distance contest throw. Yeah, there you go. See how that held? See? Yeah, and then it like pans out. Okay, right. so if I do that with the right disc, we're good. Really? That's your shot here? I don't know what my shot is, man. I mean, it worked. That's my shot. Did that, okay, let's, let's look at the comments. What looked, what looked more difficult? Because we have the same result. That looked, that, the hop, the little one hop, made yeah, it like that. I didn't like it. I mean, if you're an ultimate I like player, the this is not hard. Who plays ultimate frisbee? <laughs> actually, hold on. Ultimate's actually ultimate? super fun. Honestly, one of the funnest sports I've played. You're a pickleballer. No, I'm not. I'm yeah, definitely you not. Stop trying I'm to nasty. I'm nasty, yes, but I'm not a pickleballer. No, you player. are. Not I, our I, I feel like I'm in Belton. I feel like I'm in Belton. That's not our hole. Where are we going? I don't know. Battery's dying. I think we're going over here. Okay. I wish that was our hole, though. Yeah. Hole nine, we got a 672 foot, par five, OB everywhere. We have a drop off green. Hole nine, a par three, 360. I blew it. It's kind of like a, I I it's it. kind of like the, the, the style of disc golf out here is OB left, OB right. If you are not accurate off the tee, you will get penalized, which I cannot wait to hear I, what people I, say. I love it. I love it yeah. too, because it rewards good shots and penalizes bad. Yes. So. Here we go. And it's, very, it's, it's, it's decisive and it's not fluky. Correct. There has not been a fluky hole. What do we got here, Brody? 360. Fill me in. Oh, what was the basket? 360, the basket is right in front of the tee pad. Oh, straight? Wait, where is the basket? We messed up the tee pads a little well, bit. Well, Monday, the, the course is not set up yet. And that's we, fine. There's no hole signs. Yeah, the, the hole signs aren't set up. So we're just kind of U-disking. Just set in right though. All right. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I think oh my the gosh. forehand. Yes. What? Might be a layup hole. What? Good lay up hole? Forehand, little flex hole. Over the OB. <laughs> what else are you doing here? I mean, some of you are gonna probably go crazy backhand. You go backhand right. tunnel, I don't hate that either. And then fade. Be stable like a false. Oh, that's yep. so scary. It's terrifying. I'm still 40 feet away. That's so scary, though. The backhand's even scarier. Well, this wind is brutal right now. Look how low ceiling this is. Yeah, baby. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah, it's definitely, I mean, I don't see anything else. Do you? I mean, we could try this backhand line, but that looks terrifying with all that Spanish moss, so I'm going to say like no. I think the forehand Power forehand. Is... Ooh, I clipped a couple things. Yeah. Power forehand. Power forehand. Power forehand. Power forehand. This tree is scary. The, 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 the tree is sketched. The OB is sketched. You know what I don't hit on this hole? Dink and dunk. I don't hate a dink dunk. 
Yeah, because this Spanish moss, I'm telling you right now, from a Floridian, yeah. this Spanish moss is heavy. Yeah, two Kev's a Floridian. Yeah, he knows, he knows. Sp Spanish moss. This is heavy. I've spent some time in Florida. That, it is not going anywhere. This might be a dig donk. Because, like, imagine doing all that work and then missing the putt anyway. Well, I mean, you're also trash, so. No. You know, someone, someone of, uh. All right. Sometimes of, you need a little trash in your life. Someone of higher caliber. Oh. Can, you know. What place did you get last weekend? Get, I mean, you I, know. I, I, uh, <laughs> you know, it wasn't. <laughs> both of me. Oh. Ah! Only better if that goes in. We both trash. We are both trash. So if you want to see two trash players play the back nine, tune into Ezra's channel. We're gonna have the back nine out here. Texas State's getting ready for the St Texas State Championship. Um, Everything's big on Texas, including the OB line. Make sure you tune in to the Disc Golf Network, Disc Golf Pro Tour. I gotta say, I like the front nine. It's a good start. It's, it's a great start. It is a challenging. I think, I also think, I think we're gonna be in the minority. I think most people are gonna play this course and be like, oh my God, it's not, it's not the same course we've always played. Are you the most optimistic I think it's great. players on tour now? I think we're realists. I think we're realists. We're realists. Everyone else are fakest. Yeah. We're the realists of the realists. All right, you we'll thanks for watching the, the real stuff. One. See you in the next one. Keep slinging the books.